We see great value in fostering also the transatlantic partnership in 6G. A prime example of this is the valuable work being done in the EU-US Trade and Technology Council. We look forward to building a close 6G partnership, not only at political uh, policy level, but also between our academic research, development and business communities. And now, once more, Tony, thank you for a good cooperation and word is yours. Well, good morning and uh, thank you, uh, my friend. It's, um, it's wonderful to be here. It's wonderful uh, to be with you. And I just have to say uh, on a personal note how much I valued our partnership and our friendship over this extraordinary uh, year, year plus. Truly historic in what's happened and what it's produced. And I think it's fair to say that uh, your leadership and your partnership has helped achieve historic results for Finland, uh, for Europe, for the relationship between us, and in many ways for the world. So I couldn't be more grateful. Um, we are living through a time when technology is transforming quite literally every aspect of our lives, uh, from artificial intelligence reshaping the production of knowledge to the devices <laughs> in our pocket that are redefining how we relate to one another uh, every single day. The United States is committed to working with our partners to shape this transformation in a way that benefits our citizens and that advances our democratic values. In particular, respect for human rights and fundamental freedoms. To maximize technology as a force for good and to minimize its misuse, it is vital that countries that support these freedoms maintain leadership in cutting-edge technologies and play a leading role in shaping the norms by which these technologies are used. And that's what this moment uh, is all about, making sure that we lead in the development of the sixth generation of our communications technology, 6G, ensuring that it's open, that it's accessible, that it's interoperable, that it's secure. Uh, our vision is of a communications infrastructure where ideas can travel freely across borders, where our businesses are empowered to innovate, where intellectual property rights are respected and protected, where our critical infrastructure, like our electricity grids, our hospitals, are secure and resilient, and ultimately, where people across the world have an opportunity to use this technology to reach their full potential. Uh, the joint statement that we just signed, I think, advances that vision in three ways. First, it enables our governments uh, to share best practices on developing approaches to advanced communications, including open radio access networks. Second, it creates opportunities for public-private partnerships to continue building a diverse workforce skilled in these cutting-edge technologies. And third, it allows our private sectors to work more closely together, including by sharing technical expertise, synchronizing regulatory requirements, starting new research initiatives. Finland is home to one of the world's leading 5G companies, as well as countless startups that are leading the way on advanced wireless technologies. And when you put that strength together with the ingenuity of our own private sector, I think there is little that we cannot do together. Um, throughout our history, Finland and the United States have forged a partnership that's evolved to meet the changing needs of our people. Today marks another evolution and another important example of how our alliance continues to deliver results, not just for our people, but ultimately for people around the world. We couldn't be more pleased by this partnership. We couldn't be more pleased by this friendship. We couldn't be more pleased now by this alliance. Thank you. Menepä takaisin päin.
jako vatoi hyvin.